Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate our latest product, which is Cloudberry Managed Backup for iOS. As you may know, lately we have been developing an iOS app for our managed backup service to enable providers to track backup activity of their users on the go. So this app has been designed as an extension of Cloudberry Managed Backup and should help providers immediately tackle and resolve emerging backup issues. So as you can see, when you open the app uh, and once you're authenticated, uh, you see the list of all your computers. So if you have, I don't know, a hundred computers in your office, uh, this is a list of all your computers that is uh, presented to you once you launch the app. So as you can see, each computer has its own display name, its operating system indicator, as well as other critical information like backup status, storage capacity, CPU and RAM usage. Uh, this is a very uh, basic general overview of the computer's information. So you can just open the app and quickly see which computers are doing well and which of them are failing at backups. For example, this literal indicator shows you the ratio of successful backup executions to the failed ones. So um, the computers that perform backup successfully have a 100% green indicator. So obviously this computer has some failed backup plans. So to learn more, you can just click on it uh, and you can see a more detailed overview of the computer with information like display name, company, user account, product version, uh, as well as the information that you have seen on the main screen. To learn more about the successful plan executions as well as failed ones, you can just tap on the plans tab at the bottom. And here you can see the plans that are successfully executing that have a green icon to the left of the name and the failed ones which are displayed with a red icon. To learn more about this failed execution you can just tap on the plan name and here you can see the last result, the storage, the type, the duration and the message. So as you can see last result of this plan execution is interrupted and uh, if you want to restart the plan so for example, if you know that this particular plan failed because there was an internet outage at the office, you can just tap on this play button that will start the plan manually. And so as you can see, you can just uh, pretty much execute any plan you want right from this app. And if you don't want to execute it, you can just terminate it by clicking on this X button and clicking stop. So this should give you an idea of what sorts of operations you can perform with this app. If you get a notification that some plan failed, you can just open this app, locate the troubled computer, see the plan that failed and execute it manually if you want to. Uh, the last two tabs of the computer view are storage space and CPU and RAM usage. So here you can see all of the storage disks as well as their spare capacity. And the same goes for the CPU usage and the RAM usage it's pretty clear that eventually the list of computers becomes so long that you will want to locate and identify individual computers. And so for that we have implemented the search bar at the top. So you can just uh, swipe up on the computer view and the search bar will appear where you can enter the computer name you want. Let's put Alex in here. And uh, now it just displays all of the online computers that have Alex in its display name. And um, all of the offline computers with the same name as well. And obviously you can just tap on any computer and uh, see what this computer is doing. As you can see, this particular computer is um, troubled because many backup plans are failed. Um, so you, here you can inspect the plans and figure out what's going on. Uh, maybe restart the plans, uh, terminate them or do something else. Cloudberry Managed Backup for iOS can also notify you of all successful and failed plan executions. Uh, so to enable notifications, you should go to Settings, and here you can enable notifications for this mobile app. Now it's important to understand and differentiate uh, the iOS notifications and the email notifications. So when you configure backup plans on uh, your computers in Cloudberry Backup, you specify an email address that is used to send notifications. Uh, so you get notifications of successful and failed plan executions, right? Uh, here it's a little bit different. Um, iOS notifications live in a different universe. So you can enable notifications here and disable them via email or you can have both notifications enabled. Or you can have 
all notifications being sent to your email address and have only uh, failed execution notifications uh, sent to your iOS device. So this should be pretty convenient for everybody who wants to be immediately notified if any backup plan on any computer at the office has some failed backup plan. So you can just switch between these options as you please. You can disable notifications if you don't want to, and that's pretty much it. So whenever there is a successful or failed backup plan execution, you will get a notification on your lock screen, the way you would get a text message, for example, and then you can tap on it and just go to the app and resolve the issue by restarting the plan or maybe doing something else. All right, so the last thing we want to highlight is that this app supports iPad as well. So you can launch the app on your iPad and it pretty much looks the same way, has the same functionality. It enables you to perform the same operations that you would on your iPhone. So you can uh, see the same tabs, you can uh, see your plans, you can launch them, you can terminate them, uh, the same type of functionality. As you know, Apple is pushing iPads for work and uh, if you're on board with the strategy, maybe you will be interested in um, managing your computers using an iPad. Why not? Maybe an interesting idea. Now, it's critical to understand that the authentication process in this app occurs via MBS API credentials. So these are different from your regular MBS account, uh, the one you use to authenticate to the website. So these credentials are available in your MBS web console, in settings, in general. So here you can see the API 2.0 credentials. Uh, you can change them, you can generate them, you can uh, enter your own credentials. And then once you do that, click OK, click Save. And these credentials are the ones that you should input into your iOS app right here. So many of you are probably wondering where we can get this app. And currently the app is in the final stages of development and it's only available to all interested providers through Apple's test flight. So if you want to try out this app, you should download Apple's test flight from the App Store then you should contact us and uh, let us know that you want to participate in beta testing and we'll send you a test flight invite and then you can use the app. You'll get updates as we distribute them via test flight and so forth. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.